Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chad and this week, no, or whatever, because my leg is still very sore from spending six hours on a tattooer's table. Now it only just occurred to me I was editing uh, the rest of the footage that I had. I didn't give like a proper introduction or explanation about my tattoo and everything in it, so I wanted to do that here. So it's not just like, hey, that's kind of, hey, that's kind of cool. Now, this is my first tattoo and I don't have anything else. I just have, you know, two nose rings but I've always wanted my whole body covered in tattoos ever since I was like 14 or 15. And even once I was 18 and I got my nose rings, I waited for tattoos because, you know, when I was, you know, hearing about Japan and, and hearing how they view tattoos, I was like, oh, I'll, I won't be able to do anything if I have tattoos there. And then you go there and you realize it's just like America, Japan is changing, the younger generation is becoming, you know, more and more okay with tattoos as the older generation dies, essentially. And especially now since I've, you know, I speak so much and I've learned so much and I've been there so much, I don't really have a problem having tattoos, so I wanted to do something for me. If you guys have watched that RPG Your Life video, my first thing on that list was, at least the easiest on the list was, get a tattoo. Start becoming the person that I wanted to be. And as such, I figured it'd only be fitting that I get something that meant a tremendous amount to me. I'm sure there are plenty of new people in here, but you guys weren't there for the messy bits of 2016 for me. Uh, I'm now down to only seeing a therapist once a week, which is awesome, and so I wanted to kind of congratulate myself with this tattoo, and I figured who better than probably the character I um, associate most with from anime. And that's of course No Face for any Spirited Away fans out there. There's actually two dudes from my rugby team that were like, hey, it's Spirited Away, and I, I did not expect these brutish dudes to, to understand that, so it was really cool. But this is very far spreading, and if you guys don't know much about him, or you don't know, hey, Chad, how do you relate to that thing so much? I would recommend looking up the wiki, look at up his personality, I kind of relate a, a tremendous amount to, to someone like him. But I'll spare you, I won't go into that in this video. Um, I ended up going to this guy who I've known about him in his shop, through Alex, through a ton of my friends who've gone there, he's kind of like the standard bearer for a lot of my social group, and he does amazing work. Uh, I, I went in there with this that I wanted, this is, I don't know, I just saw the design and I thought it was really cool, and it might be kind of hard for you guys to see, there's also little, uh, little soot sprites around it. I don't know why, I just liked it so much, and I, since I'm bulking right now, and I plan to be bulking until August and September, and I'm waiting for my chest and my arms to get a little bit bigger, because I don't want stretch marks, I decided to go with my legs. And the cool thing about this tattoo is I got to do it with one of my D&D friends and a very longtime friend of mine, Tristan. He also got a Studio Ghibli tattoo, but on his, uh, ca his other calf. I was getting mine on my left calf, he got his on his right calf. I think he was getting the river spirit. And we planned this for weeks and we've had this back and forth and it was finally the day and so me and Tribbett went out and met with our friend Adam who was also in our D&D group at Wendy's and we had a weird old person bathroom experience. It was it was bizarre. I ordered and then I went into the Wendy's bathroom and opened it up and I kind of walked in and looked at the floor because I, I, for some reason I was just looking down and then I get all the way in and I look, it's a single person bathroom, old dude on the toilet. I was like, well, my day's ruined, close that door, walk back. I get back and I tell Adam what happened and I go, look, this guy's gonna get turned away too because there's another old guy walking to the same bathroom, walks in, door closes. The other guy didn't walk out before. We waited like 30 seconds. I was like, so what's happening? And it was just, I, I don't even want to think about it because Lord knows what they're doing in there. Could be another lemon party for all I know. I, I, I don't want to be part of that party. It hits three o'clock, I decide, all right, let's, Let's go, let's, let's get this done. Um, we decided I'm gonna go first because I had to live stream that night even though I didn't actually make it because I was really sore and tired, I'm sorry. And after waiting there for probably 45 minutes, we come up with my first design, this is the first draft of it. Uh, we wanted to make the head bigger but we still wanted to keep the shape of no face because the face is so much of the character of it and I didn't want it just to be this little guy on my calf. Um, and after a couple revisions, we ended up starting and it was a, a shocker to say the least. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was. I mean, it's not like pleasant, but it's not like... It's just like annoying, you know? Yeah. It's like a beast. It's not as bad as I thought, but it wasn't as easy as I thought as well. Because you kind of go through the spectrum of like, oh, the worst it's going to be and the easiest it's going to be. It's probably there in the middle. And on my calf, it wasn't that bad except for like certain spots near the tendon. That kind of makes you like jump. It was, it was a little brutal. 
Um, but here's a picture I got of when I got the outline done. The line work was definitely the hardest because that he really sticks to that line super hard. The, near the tendon at the bottom where those drips are, that I almost I almost passed out. That was freaking rough. Um, he even said, if, hey, if you are in pain, you're doing a good job of hiding it. I don't think I was doing a good job at all. I was getting destroyed. I actually handed my phone to Tribbett because I just couldn't even deal with myself at that point. I was like biting my arm trying to deal with some of it. And uh, when he got to the coloring, the pitch black of it, that was the easiest part. That part didn't hurt like half as bad as the line work did. And so we kind of coasted. We talked about juggalos and we're joking with a lot of the dudes just about um, wildlife. And it was it was really entertaining. Like it was such a, it felt like a barber shop. And after three and a half hours on that table, I was done, wrapped it up. I was bleeding like a freaking, like a fish. Like they butchered me. I was, it was just gushing. I've never had so much blood. And I've busted my nose in Japan and that was still worse by far. And then I decided I want to sit through Tristan's as well. We were kind of broing it out, so I sat through Tristan's. Tristan's took half as much time because he just did line work on his. He didn't color it or shade it, and mine's like pitch black, so it took it took a while. And yeah, so the final result kind of looks a bit like this. This is it when it's still swollen. Again, this is, this is a fresh tat still. So I'll give you guys on Twitter an update when it heals fully and how it kind of ended up looking, because this is still like shiny with aquaphor and still very very swollen and red so you can't see the color of the eyes because I have the purple for the no face mask but yeah it was just it was such a meaningful tattoo and it's it's me taking a step in a direction that I want to take for for me and only for me and I was very excited about it so quick question do you guys have tattoos or piercings do you like them do you not like them uh, do you have any questions for me about how they're in Japan maybe I'll make a video on that later if you guys like the video be sure to like it down below it helps me tremendously it helps other people find not only this but the rest of my channel and it helps me grow tremendously in this new algorithm if you guys did enjoy this video check out my other videos this one's kind of different I usually do stuff on Japan Japanese culture that type of stuff but I wanted to do something that was a piece of me and mattered a lot in my life uh, I put out two videos a week. If you guys like this or those videos, I highly recommend you subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, compliments, concerns, you know, anything like that, uh, comment down below. I always get back to you as long as you're polite. That's about it for this week. I'll see you guys on the Saturday stream like normal. I, I'm so sorry about last week. I was just so sore. And uh, be looking on Twitter for update photos on, uh, on the old tiddly tiddly tattoo. All right, that's it for this week. Be kind to one another. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on Saturday. Mm -hmm.